Hey everybody, welcome back to Saturday Knife Live. How is everybody doing tonight? Oh my goodness, chat lit up like crazy and your master moderator Zach Stuff's already going to work for you. Goodness gracious, there you go guys. If you want to join Big Red's Brigade, that's how you do it. So many people in here, like I said, our master moderator and gold cardinal member Zach Stuff, as well as gold cardinal member Paper Tiger. Mark Herrera, J.R. Miz, Mike Jernak, all Gold Cardinal members. And don't forget to wish our good friend Mike Jernak a very happy birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Mike. Very cool. So many people early here. Oh, my goodness. Jim Miller, Brian Kerr, members of the brigade. And there's Jay on cue with live from YouTube. It's Saturday Night Live. Very cool, Jay. Thank you, sir. Neil McKenzie is here. James Alton, Adventure Man, Bangkok Mark, all members of the brigade. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Greg Maroney is here. Paper Tiger. Greg Vanderlip was here early, early, early. My goodness. Member of the brigade, welcome, sir. G-Man, Funland. What's going on, guys? Moen Live, member of the brigade. Hello, hello. Grizzle Bear Gaming, what's going on? Good to see you. Craig is here and was here early, as a matter of fact. Neil McKenzie, hello. El Cap was here early. T Fetch, what's going on? Brian White, hello. Good to see you. Palmer Conley, member of the brigade, was here early. Hello, Palmer. Very good to see you. Rusty Knife Lover, Gold Cardinal member, what's going on? Oh, Father EDC, member of the brigade. Here early as well as Bushcraft Rebooted, also a member of the brigade, and also here early on. My goodness, Fat Nuts, what's up? Jeff Jackson, hello. Michael Upchurch, good to see you. Welcome in, guys. Oh, my goodness. There you go, guys. There is the link to the brigade once again. Thank you very much, Zach. JJ, what's going on? Steve-O, member of the brigade, hello, hello. Good to see you, Josh Branson, member of the brigade, with um, Ed Harrison also, and Addicted to Blades 2 was here early, all members of the brigade. Good to see you guys. PNW Fun Stuff. What's up, my friend? Member of the brigade. Saturday seems to have gotten here too fast this week. I, uh, I don't know, Will. By the way, hello, Will, member of the brigade, and here very early as well. Uh, this week kind of drug for me. A lot of stuff happened at work this week that blech. Zach and I have been talking about it. That just yeah. Anyway, anyway, it's over. There is the CK Gold Cardinal member donating a membership, and Neil McKenzie got his membership back. Thank you so much, CK. Very, very much appreciate it. Sleazy Pancake member of the brigade. What's up, Jr. Miz? Hello, hello, gnarly Charlie, what's happening? Good Saturday to you, my friend. Todd Carr, member of the brigade, what's up? Everybody's jumping in. I will inform Nelly that I do have my readers appropriately lanyardized and around my neck for this evening's live stream. So there you go. They're here. These, these have got a spot on them that I can't get rid of, though. I mean, these are just cheapy Amazon ones, so, you know. What can you expect, but <laughs> Big Doug, what's up? My journey, hello. Welcome to you both. Goodness, on my way home from a 14 and a half hour day. Oh, goodness, that sounds like fun. Goodness, well, I tell you what, Josh, be careful, drive safe, get home, and relax, my friend. Hopefully my voice won't put you to sleep. I'll try to keep influx, you know, an influx in my voice. I'll yell every once in a while to help keep you awake. What? Ron Dobbins, good evening to you. Good to see you. So, yes, I, I don't know where our sunshine went. Our sunshine went away. Made me, it made me very sad. Yeah, I want my sunshine back. Uh, I know part of you guys, in the, or you guys are getting a... Uh, Snow in some places. My goodness. Goodness. It's it's almost April. Yeah, it's too late for snow. No. Anytime is January's too late for snow. 
Forest SLR member for 29 months, Gold Cardinal member. Hello, everyone. Hashtag be up. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Timbo, member of the brigade. What's going on, my friend? Good to see you as well. Paul Bessemer was here early, member of the brigade. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, yes. Yes, it does, Greg. I, yeah. Any time is too. Not a time for snow. Oh, my goodness. Zach Stuck. Coming in hot. Greg Maroney, Funland, My Journey, Michael Upchurch, and Gnarly Charlie. All got memberships donated by Zach Stuff. I believe you all got your memberships back, but if you are a new member, just email me, BigReadyDC at gmail.com, and we'll get you some swag out. And there's Bluminati. Member for 15 months. Be up, brothers and sisters of the blade. Very cool. L Cap. Welcome back to the brigade, my friend. Thank you so much for rejoining the brigade. Let me get at what's going on. Good to see you. There's the email, guys. Colby Venable, what's going on? Good to see you. Garen Gatorlope, what's going on? And King Snake Jake, member of the brigade. What's up, buddy? Manny Z, gold cardinal member. Hello, my friend. We're jumping in. Um, yeah, yeah, my, our son went away. That doesn't make me happy. Or the son, the son, not our son. The son went away. And yeah. Oh. Anyway. So we'll have to deal with that. I will tell you though, <laughs> this time of year, and I know it's probably the same for a lot of you, maybe further south or whatever, but this time of year, um, when we're just coming out of the, the rainy season, if you will, and you get three, four days of sunshine in a row, everything's yellow because the evergreens drop their pollen. If we get two or three nice days in a row, the pollen starts flying. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, video I did, the flashlight video I did, but I was shining out there. It looked like it was raining. No, that was pollen. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yes, now everything's yellow, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take the yellow because that means we had sunshine. Rusty Knife Lover, member for 43 months, says happy SKL, hashtag DSKFS, hashtag be up. Good to see you, my friend. Always good to have you here. Corbin Stewart, 32 months. I'm in a winter storm warning here in Minnesota. Total snow accumulation, 8 to 16 inches. No, 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 no. You know what, Corbin? I think... Let me check something real quick, Corbin. I think I owe you something still. I really do. I got to check. I need to check. I have my list. No, I got you. Okay, good, man. I thought I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure. I was checking my coin list. I was checking my coin list, making sure I'm up to date and making sure all my two-year or greater members have their coins. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I got, I got you marked off. So if I didn't, let me know. But Napster, member of the brigade, what's up? Yes. Yes. Oh, when I go back to Nebraska in the summertime anymore, the dust. Oh, yeah, the dust gets me. It really does. You owe me a million dollars? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'll definitely have to fact, fact check that one. A CK member for 39 months. Thank you so much, my friend. There you go, guys. If you want a shirt, mug, one of these, that's how you do it right there from the spring store. And if you want a hat, a really cool hat, go check out our good friend Forrest SLR at the EDC Roundtable. He makes some fantastic hats. He will make you one up, says Big Red EDC on it. Oh, and it might even look like, I think I got a couple more to give away. It might even look like that. So I do have a couple here left to give away. Thanks to our good friend Pocket Razors, who was here early. Speaking of Pocket Razors, did you guys get to see his live stream Thursday night? I did not. I was working. But, yes, our good friend Pocket Razors had his first live stream. He's put up a couple of, put up a couple of videos now. 
He had a live stream uh, Thursday night. I watched the replay. It looked like it was a fun time. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Mark is an awesome, awesome guy. Um, I've had the pleasure of talking to him quite a bit, helping him out a little bit, getting the channel going and stuff. And I I've met him at meetups. He's a terrific guy. And he is definitely, definitely one of those members of the community, if you know what I mean. So, yes, yes. Yeah, I missed it too, Mike. I was working, so I didn't get to see it. Adventure Man, member for 14 months. I was in the live. It was pretty good for a stream for Pocket Razors. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. It was really, really cool. So very, very, very glad he, he was able to do that. So just subscribe right on, Grizzle Bear. Excellent. Excellent. Little Metal Foxes, hello. Welcome. Evil E, hello to you too. Mark Parks, member of the brigade, hello. Mike Crasher is here today. As well, tonight, I guess I should say, member of the brigade. What's up, my friend? Good to see you. Yes, yes. That was, uh, like I said, I was bummed I missed it, but uh, it looked like it was a good time. Humphrey, what's going on, my friend? So, yes. Oh, and let's see. What else? Oh, I have Nelly. I have some knives laid out for Nelly. I had a request. Beaver Baron, hi Big Red, thanks for showing off that titius. Woohoo, got to got me too. <laughs> right on, man. Thank you so much for that super chat. You got two titius. Huh? You you have two titius. Imagine that. Um, but yeah, no, I've got a couple knives. Well, more than a couple laid out for Nelly. There uh, had a request after the whole pokey stabby fat belly uh, thing that she. Uh, gives her names to knife blades. So we're going to do a fun video. Mike Crasher, member for 13 months. Love all you do, JB. Well, thank you so much, Mike. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun to be doing this for sure. And I think, uh, well, I, I don't think, I know um, Mark messaged me, I think on Friday it was after his live stream. And he's like, man, I know why you like doing those now. It, it is. It's, it's, it's it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So very, very cool. So, oh, guys, we got some new swag in this week. If you guys remember, and he's here, Mr. Bluminati was the winner. Mike Crasher donates a membership to Lemmy Get That. Welcome back to the brigade, Lemmy. Very cool. Thank you so much, Mike. I greatly appreciate it. Our sheer, what's going on? But yes, Bluminati won the 37 sticker giveaway. He's already got his package. I got the, this is just, this is too cool. Um, definitely one of my personal favorites, but it just kind of represents, I mean, I, I love it for the fact that, all right, we got Big Red up there, obviously. We have 37 right there. You got the Cardinal with the white beard. You got the referee shirt on because during giveaways, I'm pretty much a referee. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool. And there he is. Oh, my goodness. Donating five memberships. Blue Manati. Oh, my goodness. Humphrey Champton, Evil E, Little Metal Foxes, Colby Venable, and Garen Gatorlope. Man, all getting their memberships back. That is fantastic. Yes, and there's the other 37. I see some 37s in the chat. That one got made into a emoji, as you can obviously see. But there was another one, guys. There was another one of the three that I just really, really, it was a personal favorite of mine. Oh, yeah, those came out terrific. This one, this one was very cool. It has a lot to do with the knife community and SKL, but I had to get this made into a sticker. This is JB's rule number 37. When in doubt, keep hitting enter. Oh, my goodness. I just, I had to get this one made. 
it was just one of those things that had to be done. Um, you know, we talk about rule number nine all the time. And it was just, I, I had to do it. I had to do it. So we have new swag. So these two will be going in tonight's giveaway. Um, I sent Bluminati. Oh, by the way, this one was made by Seamus. This was a design by Seamus. So I already sent them stickers. They they were the they were the winners, so to speak. Bluminati was the winner, and we'll say Seamus was kind of the runner up. So they've already got their stickers. They were the first. Well, I don't know if they've got them yet. They were the first sent out. We'll put it that way. They were the first sent out. So, yes, indeed. So, Scott Raider, what's going on, my friend? Good to see you. Glad you're here, my friend. Got the Gerber Mansfield. One was amazing. One had the blade so off-center, it made a noise when it closed. I was able to adjust it a tiny bit. It doesn't seem to be made for disassembly. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. I haven't taken mine apart yet. I will tell you, I do believe... Can you make it into a patch? Thinking about it. Thinking about it, CK. Thinking about it. Um, I think I, we have solved the mystery of the Mansfield. The Mansfield mystery. As I uh, And I believe it was Mimo who was on top of it. What's up, Mr. Fluffy, member of the brigade? Hello, Paul Mills. Welcome in. Beaver Baron, Gold Cardinal member and donator of a Super Chat. Hello. I don't think I said hello even, Cliff. I'm sorry. Donald, what's going on? Good to see you. But from all we can tell, this one said it was $40 because it came in a box. C miss, correct me if I'm wrong, but those of you that are getting that the Mansfield that got it for like nine, 10, 12 bucks, whatever it was. Those are all coming in a blister pack, aren't they? If I'm wrong, let me know. I believe that is the only difference. I believe the $40 one, $40 ones come in a box. And the $10, $12 ones, the cheaper one, same knife, but it comes in a clam pack. Yep. Only... I, that that has to be the difference, and I believe it was Mimo, who was on top of that. So very cool. Get go get the ten dollar one, twelve dollar one. It comes in a clown pack. It's the same knife. Don't don't buy the forty dollar one. Buy the cheaper one. So my two Mansfields came in blister packs from Chicago Knife Works. Yep, yep. So far, so for twenty five plus dollars, you get a box. That's basically what it looks like, JR. Absolutely. That 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 is what it looks like. So don't buy the $40 one. Go buy the make them send those back and make them put them in a clam pack. So yeah, yeah. So and I mean I mean it was in a box. I mean, well, shoot, here's the box laying right here. I mean, there's the box. Is that worth 25 bucks? <laughs> there's the box, Humphrey, right there. That, that's that's 25 bucks apparently <laughs> yeah yeah i guess that's what uh i guess that's what 25 bucks gets you well funland i'll tell you what from my experience at 10 to 15 dollars you're getting one hell of a knife i will say this isn't worth no 25 bucks i'll tell you that but even at 40 dollars it's not a bad knife at least mine i can say that for mine at forty dollars, D two micarta, it's not a bad knife. At ten to fifteen dollars, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Oh my goodness, pocket razors! Thank you so much, my friend Renee, Ramon, Donald, Milinkovic, Pepper, Dingo, Fat Nuts, and Thomas McDonald all got their memberships back. Remember, any new members. Email me, BigRedEDC at gmail.com for that swag pack. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Mark. I greatly appreciate that. I got a slip joint from said Stevie, TPK Ohio River Jack, and M390. Oh, yeah, those are good knives. The Ohio River Jacks. 
they're on sale right now. Plus, with my with my code, you can get what is it? Big Red TPK. You can get five dollars off even. So I think they're down to like 115, 120, somewhere in there. Somewhere. So pretty good deals. So absolutely. So Rawhead Spear, what's going on? Good to see you. Nice, nice. So, all right. I got a lot of stuff to show you guys, but if you will, pardon me tonight. We're already 20 minutes in. I uh, We'll see. We'll see if I do pocket checks. We'll see. I do know what I want to do. This guy went unclaimed. Kind of had a feeling it might with the name that got selected because it wasn't a name I, I really recognized, which is fine. That's cool. I said in the video that if it didn't get claimed, it would get given away tonight on SKL. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to give this away. What's up, Tickle Me Cheeto, member of the brigade? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. But Jason Barcy, member of the brigade, what's up? I'm glad you made it too, my friend. So this is the uh, Takamo Waxed Canvas Foraging Pouch. That's what it is. Yes, yes, pens and blades. It is a waxed canvas foraging pouch. That's what it is. It folds out. It gets to be decent size for sure. So we're going to give that away right now. But not only that, because if you remember, they sent out this uh, sample of their survivor cord. It's got fishing line, a wax jute, and a snare wire inside. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, you can put all sorts of stuff in that pouch. They got that. They had some swag, too. We got some swag, Titan Survival, Survivor Cord swag. And I couldn't just do that. So, you know what? We're going to throw in a little I3E EOS because this is a pretty international-friendly package, and I want our friends international friends to be able to play along as well. So we're going to do that right now, guys. We're going to do it. I'm going to get, um, so all the same rules apply with the exception of it's international friendly. So can't forget our international friends. Have to include them at some point. Got to do it. Got to do it. So we, I'm going to get a range here real quick. And... I'll get a number. Let's see. We'll do that. Okay. I have a range. I have a number. There's the rules, guy. This one will be international friendly, as so noted by our good friend and master moderator, Zach Stuff. Once we see a start on the screen, and I tell you what, who was that that wrote that range down earlier? Was that Palmer? Palmer wrote down a range of 350 to 500. Your range is actually 300 to 500. So good guess, Palmer. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, is there a camera in here? <laughs> All right, 300 to 500, guys. Guess away. Open to international. And I got my eye on you, Palmer. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to be out of water pretty soon. I didn't bring another bottle of water up here. Doggone it. Oh, well. For said Stevie. Yeah, said Stevie goes hiking in the mountains. I bet he finds some cool stuff. So, yes, indeed. <laughs> Somebody's guessing for Palmer since he, since he already had the uh, range down. <laughs> Pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Knife Spot. Are you here, Knife Spot? If I've missed you, I am very sorry. Johnny H., member of the brigade, welcome in. Good to see you. King Snake Jake. Nameless EDC. <laughs> I like that. What's up? Welcome. If we judge by furthest away, I might win a number game. <laughs> Is that usually the way it goes for you, Lemmy? <laughs> oh, there's some close ones. There's some close ones. Marco David Garcia Varea. 
is that is it the l is an l is a or is it varela is it, do we pronounce the l welcome by the way <laughs> There you are. Your screen is moving fast tonight. No worries. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. We got lots. 114 in here. 114 crazy people staying up late on a Saturday night just to talk with all of you and me. That's pretty cool. So, all right, Zach, let it go for maybe 10 seconds, and then we'll throw up some stop signs and find us a winner. Brancusi says... Ask the question, do you like traditional pocket knives? Absolutely, I do. Rory Callahan, my gurkha. You, you, sorry, Rory Calhoun. God, you got me all freaking Twitter-pated there, Rory. My goodness. Thanks for the two Kershaw showing up on Monday. You're the best. Dude, you won them, my goodness. Wow, thank you so much, Rory. Wow, my goodness. There are our stop signs. Whew. Rory got me all, wow, I didn't even know who he was there for a minute. Goodness gracious, sorry about that. All right, 300 to 500, and our number was 402. 402, and I believe, I, I know I saw, I think it was Joseph S. with 401. We'll see if we have, yep, there's Joseph S. with 401. Ooh, some close ones. Just over, though. Let's see if we have another 401 or a 402. Will be with a 402. Oh, my goodness. He was on it. What did Palmer guess? <laughs> what did Palmer guess? I think I saw it. I think it was like, four, there it is, 427. Okay. Okay. There's no cameras. No cameras in here. All right. That was good. I see Will be nailing it with 402 only 75 off getting better <laughs> keep playing my friend doggone it keep playing we'll get you will be congratulations my friend that, that's what everybody's seeing that's what zach sees very good will be you know what to do email me big red edc at gmail.com i know there was a there was a 401, some 403s. There were some close ones. There were some close ones. Congrats, Will. Very, very cool. So, yep, go ahead and shoot me that email, Will, and I will get that out to you on Monday. Very, very cool. All right, I'm going to lay that right over here. Put that right up there. It says, Will B. Won it. Excellent. Very cool. Very cool. Yes, I know, Joe. 401. I saw a couple of 401s. Greg J had 403. You guys were around it. You guys were definitely, definitely there. So, very cool. <laughs> yes. F1 race is over. Yeah, I saw the F1 races were on. Basketball is pretty much hoarding the TV right now. I did see that, too. Uh, I watched, well, no, I didn't watch. Well, I did on the computer. Nebraska men got whooped by Texas A&M, but the Nebraska women barely beat Texas A&M, and now they play the Beavs. Oh, now they play the Beavers. What is that, tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But so very, very cool. All right, what are we going to do? We got to talk about some stuff. Uh, let me see here. Let me see my notes. I saw Auburn lost to Yale. Yeah. There was some uh, Gonzaga beat uh, Kansas today. Definitely. So, all right, let's do story time. We're going to do story time. Okay. I see that, Will. I see that. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Beavs and Cardinals. Yes. Well, uh, Beavs and Huskers, I guess actually but anyway yes 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 uh, we'll have to be tuned I'll have to tune into that I don't even know what time the game is so yes wazoo lost today they did Tori absolutely hello by the way member of the brigade yes wazoo lost today it's 128 a.m so I am heading to bed right on Jeff 
Have a great, I hope you get lots and lots of good rest. Have a great Sunday. Have a great week. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow on a live stream or two. But good night, Jeff. Everybody tell Jeff good night. Night, Jeff. Night. <laughs> but yes. Um, all right. Where was I going? I was going somewhere. And then I didn't go somewhere. <sighs> I was going somewhere. And then I didn't go somewhere. Oh, story time. That's what it is. Story time. So, all right, Steve-O. Have a good one, my friend. Have a good Sunday as well. I'm in the same time, but I'm going to champ out right on Adventure Man. See you later. Have a good one. I'm with the fire department right on, Grizzle. Very cool. Excellent. Yes, story time. So, when I was helping out at Blade Show, Texas, I was helping out QS, QSP. Um, what's up, Jake? Member for 17 months. Good stuff. Thank you, sir. Yes, I did do I did do that too. Evilly got all the way to the store, got checked out, and realized I didn't have my wallet. Yeah, that did happen. That's a quick story, though. This one's a little bit longer story. This one's a little bit longer story. So at Blade Show, Texas, uh, we're sitting around the table, and David said, hey, I'm going to go walk around a little bit. Okay, good enough. Chef Rocky C, what's going on? Edgy American, what's up? Good evening from the tub. <laughs> we'll send pics for money. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. So we're standing there. David says, I'm going to go walk around a little bit. He does his thing. He goes, walks around. He comes back and he's like, hey, I need to grab some tools. I need to go back to the case booth. They're having some problems over there. I'm like, okay. All right. So he grabs his tools, disappears again. Um, They had the new bridge line come out, right? the new bridge line, their liner lock. And apparently they were having issues with it and they didn't have any tools. So he comes back after quote, a decent amount of time. He comes back and he's like, um, he's like, you really need to go over to the case booth and check out their new liner lock. I'm like, okay, why? Well, I mean, I get it. I, I get they're a, they're a slip joint company, and I kind of understand why they didn't have any tools. Kind of. Kind of. So he comes back and just says, yeah, you really need to go check out that knife. And I'm like, do I? And he's like, oh, oh, yes, you do. Okay. So I didn't make it over there. That was on Friday. I didn't make it over there on Friday. Um, Saturday, we're about midway through, and he keeps asking me, Hey, are you going to go check out that knife? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. So I did. I walked over there. I had to go talk to a couple other people. Went and talked to them. Walked by the case booth. And they have, I believe it's the Longhouse. Well, I have the Highline, I think, is the other one. So High Bank. High Bank. The Longhouse is the liner lock. And they have them sitting on the counter, and I go over there and check them out. And I pick it up, and it flips really nice. It's a front flipper. Flips really nice. I'm like, oh, cool. All right, you know, and I'm just looking at it, doing what I normally do to knives. I grab it, you know, do all this. Dude, I go like this. That blade is got so much wobble in it. I'm like, oh, crap. I go up and down. That thing's rocking up and down. And I'm like, I looked at the guy and he's like, give me your thoughts. <laughs> are you sure <laughs> are you sure you want me to give you my thoughts and he's like uh yeah i'm like okay i was like well for one thing i'm guessing this pivot is loose as all heck because i mean the blade wobble in that thing was terrible it was terrible and the lock the lock rock the lock rock was terrible yes case Yes, definitely case. And I'm like, 
And he's like, and he saw my badge. And David was already over there helping him. And he's like, oh, you're with QSP as well? And I'm like, yeah, I'm helping him out. And I was like, and then he's like, oh, well, check this one out. And a guy, that another guy that was standing there had one in his pocket. And he sent it to me. Hey, Midnight, member of the brigade, what's going on? He hands me that one. And it's good. It's really good. There's no lock rock. So I was like, okay, that probably means, or no, yeah, no back and forth. I was like, okay, that means the other one's pivots, probably pretty loose and needs to be tightened up. It had a, a minuscule amount of lock rock, not much. But a loose pivot could also play into that lock rock as well. So I'm like, okay. I was like, and I just looked at the other, the original guy, and I was like, why is this not the one that's sitting up here? And he looked at me, and I was like, why do you have one up here that's got such bad blade play? Such bad. And then you look at the liner, and the only thing holding the liner, or, yeah, the liner lock, the only thing holding the liner lock is in connection with the blade is the liner on the opposite side. It was way over. Now, there again, I have to guess it was pit, the pivot was way loose. I don't know. I didn't have any tools on me to try to tighten it up at the time. But I'm like, but I was just, and when I, when I told him that, he was like, he just looked at me. Both of them just kind of looked at me. And I was like, that should be the one sitting up here, not this one. I was like, if anybody knows knives and comes up here and just plays around with this thing, So I tell you that story because I have this one. This is the high bank. This is the double detent version. I tried to get a longhouse because I wanted to see, I wanted to buy one off the shelf and see what it was like. I really did. Well, they were all sold out. They were all sold out. So I got this one. And the, the high bank that they had there, the, dub, the double detent, was good. It was nice. No blade play, no nothing. This one's really nice. No blade play, nothing. It's a great looking knife. I love the look of it. I've only played with this a little bit. We're going to have a full... I did. I did break my rule. I did my break my rule. I did buy a case sight unseen. You're absolutely right, Zach. But I wanted to. That's why I told you that story. I had to do it. Now, this one is okay. It's kind of mushy in that half stop. The half stop is really light. It's really light. So it's kind of mushy. Uh, this says first production run. That's why. This one was a first production run. That's why it's got the... the uh, there's others that don't. The, I guess, non-first production runs do not have that on the blade, of course. So, I mean, it's really, that top detent's really light. The top, top detent's really light, and it is kind of mushy. Yeah, no need for readers on this one. No, 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 not on that. So, yeah, I guess they were pretty proud of that first production run. So... But so I got this one. I wanted to get the longhouse because I really wanted to check it out. But I got this one instead because, well, I was like, well, next best thing. Yes, yes, I'll tell you. It's if you haven't seen Palmer, if you haven't seen uh, my case videos, go go check out. It's a playlist. And my issues with a case uh, rust lock. Uh, it's, it's basically ridiculous, really. So, yeah. But all in all, first, first impressions, do I have a Federalist? I don't have one. I mean, I've reviewed one, but I don't have one here. I, I gave it away. I gave it away, Mark. Um, it was nice. I liked the Federalist. Yeah, it would definitely be like Zach buying Gerber. Absolutely, 100%. It, it absolutely would. 
100%. That's what it would be like. I am to case knives like Zach is to Gerber. Where is it made? Oh, it's it's case. It's made in the U.S. It's made here. It's supposed to be. I hope it is. But there will be a full video of the, a full review of this one coming, of course. I like the micarta. Pocket metal! Gold Cardinal member, what's up? I thought the longhouse looked cool. I'll let you try it first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, I wanted to get the longhouse, but they were all sold out. So the case, the case crowd jumped on them, which is cool. That's all good. Trust me. I still get comments on that case video. Oh, you're just bashing case to bash case. And I was like, did you watch the videos? All you have to do is watch the videos and you'll know well. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Tori. Yeah, I mean, for materials, it's not bad. It's 20 CV, micarta, first production run, you know, any other knife brand, that's not a bad price. It's not. I think the second ones are down to like 155. So it's like 10 bucks more for the first production run. Oh, who was that? Who was that? It's Crispy Critter, a member for 10 months. Good night, everyone. Enjoy the live. Good night, Crispy. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, my friend. And thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Absolutely. So, well, and okay, this is completely hearsay. Yeah, they, they charge more for the first production run, I guess. Sure. Yeah, 10 bucks. I think that's what, eight bucks, something like that. This is hearsay, but you can ask, feel free to ask David Blade Banner if you would like. But when he came back that day, the first day, and he said he was talking to Case, and he said the one he was looking at had a lot of blade play, had a lot of wobble in the blade. He swears the guy told him, that that knife passes Q, QC. And I don't know if he thought it or said it to him, but he said something like, if that passes QC, your whole QC department needs to be fired. I don't know if he told him that or if he just thought it. And feel free to ask David any, any questions about this. He will, it's not me bashing case at all. It's not me bashing case at all. So, yes, he was, he wanted me to go check it out so bad. So I had to finally do it. So I and get, don't get me wrong. I have some really nice, really well-made case knives. I do, but I did break my rule, Zach. I'm sorry. I broke my rule. I broke my rule for the betterment of the community. How's that? I wanted to see it. I wanted to see. I wanted to see if it. I could put any credence to the words I'm telling you right now, which I can't. I have no proof. But just ask David. Cohen, what's up? Good to see you. So yeah, hey, that's that. That's my story time for tonight. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the knife they had on the counter and the knife that dude had in his pocket. I was like, why is that not the one out here? It needs to be. This one is terrible. If it's not Loctited and the and the pivot won't stay tight, get it out of there. Shouldn't be up here. <laughs> the QC isn't bad. It just has extra room in the wick flint wheel. <laughs> there you go. Dwayne Letterman, member of the brigade. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Oh, does the second production run have billboarding too? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you can get ones that don't have that on the plate. <laughs> Case has QC. Well, it's questionable. Very questionable. So we'll get a... We'll get a full review of this one, but yeah, yeah. Like I said, this one, this one is not bad. It's a little mushy in that half stop, though. That's about the only, so far, 
That's about the only complaint I have. Well, is, let's see if it's sharp. Got some paper here. Let's see if it's sharp. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. Not bad. Not great, but okay. There you go. All right. Enough of that one. Enough of that one. So, if you think I'm bashing case, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, I call it like I see it. So, oh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, let's do this one. Let's take a look at this one. This one with some blade wobble and rough edge would put you back on the don't buy list. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Yeah. I bit the bullet. I bit the bullet just to see. But let's see. Speaking gospel. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you what I see. That's all I can do is tell you what I see. So let's see. This was a recommendation from our good friend, Mark. Of course, it's an awesome Mark Herrera, that is. This one, nice red knife. Davo from El Paso, what's up, my friend? Good to see you guys. Don't forget, Dave's latest article is pinned up there at the top. Make sure you go to check that article out. Another fine article from our good friend Davo, so please check that out. Pocket Razors says, come on, everyone, gently massage that like button. If that doesn't work, jump all over it, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Very much. I greatly appreciate it. There are a few marks here. That's why I had to clarify. But yes, Mark suggested this one to me. This is, I got to read it because it's one of those names. It's the Baron Sun four and a half inch red G10 drop point. It's pretty self-explanatory actually. But the Baron Sun four and a half inch red G10 drop point knife. Mark I've had this thing for a couple of days now, and I'm really, really thankful you suggested this one because I'm digging it. I am digging it. It's a slip joint. It does have a half stop. The action, eh, the walk and talk is a bit, eh, <laughs> eh, uh, goes into that half stop from open pretty weak and then shut yeah, goes into the half stop open pretty well, and then snaps open, kind of, <laughs> to the open. This is Baron Sun. It's a Baron Sun. Baron Sun 4.5 inch red G10 drop point knife. There's a link right there to it. Um, it is super, super comfortable in hand. Absolutely. Very comfortable in hand. Wait a sec for what? What am I? Uh, who just gifted me a membership? Oh, that happened a while back. Fat nuts. Oh my goodness. Who was it? It was somebody that I can't remember who it actually came from. It was in that flurry of donated memberships a while back. But yes, you are now a member, and it looks like you're a brand new member. So if you email me at bigrededc at gmail.com. I'll send you some swag. Uh, Pedro Armstrong, what's up, my friend? Big Red EDC, JV, you will love the Manly Sea. I know, I know. I haven't got it yet. I got this one. I got this one. I could get this one. It's just, I don't know. I guess I have something with that. Uh, lam lamina, Lamnia. I know everybody says it's a good company. I just have never ordered from them before. Uh, Joe Isabella, member for one month. To quote an American, I am what I am, and that's all that I am. <laughs> right on, Joe. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for being a member and welcome in here tonight. So, yeah, I am. I'm not. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It feels really good in hand. Let's see. Swyman, favorite case knife. I have a peach seed jigged bone 
Sodbuster Jr. from Case that I absolutely love. Great little knife. That is my favorite case knife, 100%. Love that little knife. What's up, Maddie Gold Cardinal member? Hello, hello. Just saw the new Ghostbusters. Recommend it. Very cool. Awesome. So it seems, as Zach said, so it seems that Baron's son is a better buy than Case. Um, my experience with Baron's son has been like this. I mean, like this one. It's not a bad knife. The action is not the greatest. I, I do. I will have to say that. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable in hand. Um, no side-to-side -side play, which is good. The spring, spring feels kind of mushy. Oh, my goodness. Fat Nuts turns right around and gives a membership. And Pedro Armstrong got his membership back. Thank you very much for the donated membership. Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to the brigade, Pedro. Yeah, I'm digging this one. It's a nice, it's a, it's got some decent length to it. What are we at? I mean, we're just over eight inches long. Looks like we got four and a quarter inch handle, which should give us about three and three quarter ish inch blade right in there somewhere. Very cool. Mattis Faction member for 27 months. Says, hope everyone is having an awesome SKL. Seems I missed some good chat, but I am here now. And so keep it going. You're all awesome. Very cool. Hello, Neil. <laughs> member for five months. Good to see you. If I have not said hello to you yet, I am very sorry. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. Is it a better buy than Case? Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Five door member for nine months. Okay. I've done one of these two. Good to see everyone. Good to see you, my friend. Baron Sun demographic is old men needs a softer spring so they won't struggle to manipulate it. You know, could be. Could very well be, Edgy. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, does that mean case knives are old men knives too because they can't see all the gaps? They need their readers to see the gaps? Ooh, that was throwing a little shade, but that's okay. <laughs> after, after my experience, I can throw a little shade every once in a while. And does anyone see the new knife Harbor Freight has started selling? I believe I saw Rory have one. I believe he posted pictures on Instagram, and I should probably go and uh, check it out. I should probably go get one. Shots fired. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> they did me dirty, so I can I can lob a shell across their bow every once in a while. But the one thing I won't do is if I get a good knife from them, I'll tell you I got a good knife from them. And that little Sodbuster Jr., beautiful knife. 100% beautiful knife. Todd Carr, I remember for 16 months, says, what's the button do? Oh, yeah, big red to tank. 15K by Independence Day, hashtag DSKFS. This community is awesome. I agree with you, Todd. This community is awesome. Kyle Cooney, what's up? Yes, <laughs> the Metamucil. <laughs> Good one. Good one. That's not shade. It's cataract. Hey, no, 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 I don't want cataracts. I don't want cataracts. I have my readers now. They had a few in stock. Oh, right on, Will. Very cool. I don't, R Rory, what's the name of that knife? I don't remember. I don't remember what the name of the knife is. Let's see if, I'll go to, if anybody can get it, I'll go to Rory's Instagram and see if I can, because I know, he, I'm sure that's the one he posted pictures of. Do, do, do. Rory, if you're still here, help us out. So is Case back on the list, or does this mediocre knife bring them back in your good grace? Oh, they're still on the list. They're still on the list. They're, they're not getting off that easy. No, they're still on the list. Any, I won't buy their slip joints, sight unseen, at all. I made a special, special exception. And I didn't even get the one I want, so I shouldn't have even done that, honestly. All right, let's find Rory here. Has somebody already said what it is? 
if it has, I'm, I'm looking, so I don't know if somebody has said it. Let's see, profile. Where is it at? Oh, maybe he didn't post it on Instagram. Maybe that was Facebook. Oh. Nope, there it is. There it is. The Icon Drop Point Knife with Ceramic Bearings. KDP3. The Icon KDP3. Is that the one you guys are talking about? Without the glare? Which we're not going to get. That's the new one, I think. It's a clone of a bag knife. It could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> KDP3. Yep, there you go. So, I thought about going and getting one to check it out. What's up, drink water? Hello, EDC Mag. What's up as well? So, yeah, I mean, if it's a clone, well, I, I can't call it a clone. I, I, I won't call it a clone because it doesn't say big knives anywhere. I'll call it a copy, but I won't call it a clone because they're not trying to pass it off as a big knife. They just copied the design. So I personally won't call it a clone, but that's just me. Yeah, see, that's where, yeah, that's, that's where I, that's where our opinions differ, Maddie. I, it's not a clone because they're not, it doesn't say bag knife, bag knife on it. If it was a clone, they'd be trying to pass it off as a bag. They're not. They copied the design. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. They, they copied the design. So it's a copy in my book, in my book. So, yeah. They may have someone for bag working with them. Oh, maybe. Counterfeit? Okay. See, Zach has a Zach has a his definition as well. He said it's a clone if they if it looks the same, it's counterfeit if it says bag. So that's a I I can I can respect that. Absolutely 100 percent Absolutely. Yeah, there five doors got them all covered. <laughs> Uh, five dollars. Yeah, it's a knockoff. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. 100%. If, if it is, it is. So I am not really big on big knives. Uh, you know, I don't I don't have a lot. Of, I don't have any, as a matter of fact. I mean, I've seen a few. I haven't had. I don't know if I've had any on the channel. If I have, it's been a long time. So, yeah, been a long time if I have, but I don't think I have. The new bag slip joints are nice. Yes, they are. That was, I almost, I was going to get that one, actually. I was going to get that one, and then Mark recommended this one. So I was like, all right, Mark threw this one out. So we're, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. So I still got to get one of the bag slip joints to check out as well, 100%. So... Yeah, yeah, it's like everything else. We all have our opinions. They did under a non-disclosure agreement. If I could afford a bag, I might have a different opinion on it. Well, there you go. David Jewell, thank you so much. Who's a good place to look for Finch knives? Traditional pocket knives. C. Reisner Cutlery. Absolutely. I will tell everyone... I will tell everyone to go to Austin to buy their finches. Um, doesn't get me anything because you can't discount them. So I can't give you anything to do it. But Austin is fantastic. He is actually Finch. I think he's Finch's best dealer, maybe. I thought that's what I heard Spencer say at one point. But yes, traditional pocket knives. Absolutely. 100%. I do have an affiliate link, but just go there and buy the knife. I wish I could give you a discount code on it, but they don't discount Finch. So, Twang Thang is in the house and gifted a membership to Drinkwater. Welcome back to the brigade, Drinkwater. Have you ever seen a Buck 532 Bucklock? No, not in person. I have not, Mark. Have not seen one in real life. So, welcome back to the Brigade Drinkwater. So, yes. 
Let's see what else do we have. Oh, I got I do have a package over here. Should we open a package? Oh, and I do have uh, this video will be coming next week. Just got this month's monthly knife club box. Got this in today. Haven't done the unboxing yet. I will be doing that this week. And if you will notice, if you watched, if you watched last week or last month, the unboxing, I, I have a, what do they call that in the retraction? I have a retraction to make. Um, if you remember, the box was kind of open and up on the side. Drink water, donated a membership. Kyle Coolney got his membership back. Welcome back to the brigade, Kyle, and thank you very much, drink water. But you remember how those weren't taped. The sides weren't taped. And I gave him some feedback from the video, and that was one of the part of the feedback, and they did say that, yes, because um, you got a seam here, you got the flap here, and then you have three seams. They did say all three seams were supposed to be taped. And they weren't. But if you remember, there was, I think it was a little browning fixed blade that was on the list. And it wasn't in the box. And I was like, okay, you know, maybe since it was open, that was a lost item. Not the case. Okay. Not the case at all. Yeah. Anyway. Um, when they put the Kaiser, that mini sheepdog, the titanium mini sheepdog in, they took the browning knife purposefully out of the box. I did read that later. It was, well, it was like the day after I did that video. Um, and then they emailed me back and said, hey, we took it out because we put the titanium Kaiser in. So I will mention that in my next video too, because I'm, I'm going to tell it straight. But as you can see, these are taped this time. So very good. So we had some good feedback for them. So anytime you guys do that, you know, if you see something that doesn't look right, you know, provide feedback. Provide feedback in a nice way. And I'll say eight times out of ten, maybe seven times out of ten, your feedback will be well received. Received. It'll be well received. It will be. So, yeah. So. Um, my other feedback was that the, there was possibly a knife missing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Zach, <coughs> give her feedback. There you go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, the other feedback that I had for him was the, the, because it wasn't taped, the knife might be missing was not the case. They took it out when they put the titanium uh, Kaiser in there. So be shady, member of the brigade. What's up? Finally off work and home for the weekend. All right, my friend. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear you can finally start your weekend. Can you donate a membership from your iPhone? I know. I don't believe so, Evilly. No. Zach says you can't. Palmer says you can't. No. Um, and that's the that's the other thing that I don't know if you remembered. Maybe it was a couple of weeks ago. Might have been last week. I don't know. But Zach... Some people, like me, being live right now, I could donate memberships for free. I can't do that because somehow, oh, what did they list it? Mine's not a personal account. It's basically, it's not business branded. Mine is a branded channel. I don't know how that happened because... Obviously, it was I didn't know what I was doing when I was setting it up, I guess. But I thought it was personal, but they told me it's not. They looked it up, and mine is not a personal. Big Red DDC is not personal. It's branded. So I am not able to donate them. So I'm sorry. I would. I'd be donating memberships all the time if I could. But so I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I got that way. <laughs> I, I, apparently, it, it's not. It's I, I'm not at this point. I didn't really have any plans. 
You know, I, I, I could make it an LLC. I probably should make it an LLC. So his must be a his must be a personal one then. I don't know, Jim, because I went to him and asked him. And they said no, mine's a branded channel, so I can't. I don't know. <laughs> Chef Rocky C gifted my five memberships to Ed, Edgy American, Josh 304, Ginger Fisher, and Chicken Fried Steak. Welcome back to the brigade, everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of you guys are back in the brigade. So thank you very much, Chef Rocky. Greatly appreciate that. And a welcome to you five, Ed, Edgy, Josh, Ginger, and Chicken Fried's take. Welcome back to the brigade. So yeah, I wish I was a fortune. Yeah, I wish I was a Fortune 500 company. Not no, I don't. No, that's not what I want. That is not what I want out of this. There's plenty of other guys out there that want it let them have it i do not want that no no like i always say building a community not a bank account mike crasher what's up <laughs> donating a membership to caleb hale very cool thank you so much mike and oh caleb have you been a member before so so what is that <laughs> So, get an LLC or protect when I sue for enabling my knife addiction. Yeah. JB, no need for stickers. They already hold my rear bumper on. All right, man. All right. And bomb jerky. What have we learned tonight? Um, case is questionable. Baron Sun is up and down. M bomb jerky, what's up? Your fortune is five hundred. Yeah, that's about as that's about as close as it's gonna get. That is about as close as it's gonna get tonight. What is going on? Love the ray gun. <laughs> yeah, it's just something crazy. I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I love Boba Fett, and it's a Boba Fett blaster. I don't know how long this thing's been at the house. The kids had this when we were little. Case has still been keep them on the naughty. Yes. Yes, keep them on the naughty list. 100%. Keep them on the naughty list. Winchester, what's up? What's going on? So I got a package. Let's open the package. I'm going to show you my package. That's what I'm going to do. Mind of Milton, what's going on? Good to see you. We got one more package to open before we get out of here. What's that? Is there something else in there? Nope, nope, nothing else in there. Nothing else. M bomb in the house. Baxter's Blades, what's going on? Good to see you, member of the brigade. Hello, hello. All right, what do we have here? Um, you guys using those, got a couple Kubi knives. You guys using that affiliate link and the coupon code. Um, I did receive some affiliate money, I guess it is, from Kubi. So I bought a couple of knives to give away. This one is the Neo KU371 Echo. Neo. Wow. Speaking of bug out, right there. Or speaking of Benchmade, I guess, there's the bug out. What do we have here? We have the Neo. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Got a flipper. I believe it, yeah, that's that red and black G10. Let's see. Not bad. Ooh. Erwin Kobe Wan Jun. They came a long way. Oh, man. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, you guys can obviously see why I, I chose this one. I like this one. This is a Keanu design. Let's see. Is Bama here? Did Bama jump in? Somebody said Bama. Did Bama jump in and I missed him?
Let's see. This one is 14C, I think. Or is it Aus 10? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nelly, here come the glasses. Aus 10. On the lanyard. On the lanyard, by the way. If you guys don't remember from last week, Nelly had that little card in here, which had my glasses lanyard on it. There's Bama. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Not a bad little knife. Got to take a little bit of an extra shake. It's got the good drop. Shake shut. Yeah. Oh, I like the Royal. Royal's a good one. Let's see, in hand. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see, lockup. Lockup seems pretty good. The Master Chief. Yes. Yes, the Master Chief. I just had one of those. As a matter of fact, uh, that's probably going to, well, I know it's going to get given away at some point. Did I give that one away yet? Did I give the Master Chief away? Maybe I already, no, it's up there. It's up there. Kubi Nova. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is like, and guys, that sale is still going on. The, I, I don't know. I guess it's just like a, I don't know if it's a permanent thing or what, but that, that sale where you can use those codes, I mean, the D2 code is still 37% off. There's a BR37ZH on Kubi Shopping. That one gets you 37% off their D2 knives. Now, this one's OS 10. So this one is BR06ZH, which is, that'll get you 6% off the non-D2 knives. But that one's not bad. Okay. Check them out real quick. Uh... Oh yeah, how'd it go, Edgy? Did you did you get your procedure done? It went great. Oh, that's good. That is good to hear. Absolutely. Very, very good. So we got one more. Got another Kubi here. This one is. I don't know if I'd call that other one premium. This one is more of a premium one. See what we have here. This is the Pike, the KB2103. 2103. But this is the Pike. Oh, it's little. Okay. Smaller than I thought it was. Okay. Read the specs, dummy. It just looked like a bigger knife in the picture. I just I was pretty much going by the picture. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, look at that milling. Oh, I like that. I like that milling. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yes. One more week and I will be sitting on the Gulf Shores of Alabama. <laughs> right on, Mike. Ooh, I really like. I really like that. That's got some cool milling. Kind of almost like that sunburst-ish type pattern. It kind of flares out. I like that. It's front flipper. Ooh, snaps out pretty well. It's kind of one of those. It doesn't stand real high. I mean, it doesn't go any higher than the than the handle of the knife, so that's okay. Kind of pokes out there a little bit. Ooh, does flip really well, and it drops. Oh, golly, that's a dropper. Absolutely. Nice. This one is, he said it's a Parsons design. Oh, got to break out the glasses again. This one is CPM 20 CV. Titanium CPM 20 CV. That's actually a really nice little flipper. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not really huge on front flippers, but God dang, that's a dropper. Be careful, dummy. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Lockup seems pretty solid. Yeah. All right, there we go. Barracuda, yeah. It's got a little pop of color to it, that light blue. 
Hit me up after the stream. I have a Gerber and a case to sell. <laughs> I got to strike all the irons hot. No, 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 no. Oh, t I tell you what, I'm probably not going to go out and buy any Gerbers. The only reason I have that one is because it came in that box. I didn't buy it. I did buy the case, though. I did buy the case. No, no, nope, nope. EDC jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zach Stuff. <laughs> He's got jokes. <laughs> I'm kind of digging this one. And I know it's even a front flipper, but man, it front flips really easily. Really easily. Huh. Let's see. Everyday comedy. There you go. That well, feels pretty good. It's got a narrow handle in that clip. I can feel it just a little bit more than I want to. But other than that, when does the tour start? There you go. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. I am. I'm kind of digging. I'm, I'm honestly kind of digging this one more than the other one. The other one's a little sluggish. Probably needs some juice. But... So, M-Bomb, have you come up with any new flavors yet? I know you're coming up with some awesome flavors from time to time. Do we have any new flavors to share with the crowd tonight? Grizzly Grizzle Bear Gaming. Hey, Mom, Zach, I still pretend the spoon is an airplane. <laughs> Kind of looks like a small Shiro if they were front flippers. Yeah, I can see that. Sounds like he's working on yams flavored. Yams flavored. Hmm. Yams flavored. Oh, yeah, they did, Josh. Absolutely. Yes, they did. JB Philly cheesesteak made it about two weeks ago. Oh. Ooh, Philly cheesesteak. I think I did hear that, though. Philly cheesesteak. Mmm. That sounds tasty. So, all right, guys. Where are we at? Oh, running up on an hour and 20 minutes. Eh, it's probably time to do another giveaway. What do you think? We should probably do a, do a giveaway, wrap it up for this evening. But before we do that, guys, do not forget about all your other EDC and knife live stream related content. Of course, tomorrow is jam packed full. Of course, you have, um, well, the CDC doesn't do it anymore. So you got Slippy and Thrifty going tomorrow morning. You got RJ. You've got, of course, you have Sunday Fun Day at noon Pacific time. And there is the link to both M-Bomb Jerky and the KnifeTubeSchedule.com for all your knife and EDC-related live streaming. But Sunday, fun day, noon, I will be there, of course. Um, Big J in the afternoon, OCD for EDC, probably some Stella, uh, probably some Edgy. You going live tomorrow night, Edgy? Going to try roasted steak with sautéed mushrooms flavor. Ooh. Ooh, steak and mushrooms? All right. All right. So those are all your live streams tomorrow. Of course, I'm sure KC will go randomly live at some point tomorrow, maybe two or three times. Make sure to keep your eyes open for that as well. <laughs> He's going live all the time now. So, yeah. Um, and then he is regularly scheduled live, Knives Fast Live, uh, will be Monday night. And are we back? Are we back, Pocket Metal, to doing a live stream on Monday night? Edgy says, yes, he will be live tomorrow night. Very good. Excellent. So I know Pocket Metals took a couple of weeks off. So hopefully he will be back up and running this week. Yes, he says. Very good. Very good. Excellent. And then throughout the week, guys, so many more. Make sure to check out KnifeTubeSchedule.com for all that information. Scott N does a fantastic, yeah, yeah, who knew, right, Zach? Yeah, no, say it isn't so. Yes, apparently, multiple times. 
So, <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Waiting for the shower live from Casey. Hey, don't don't put it past. Sunday or Monday? It's usually Monday night, Josh. It's usually Monday night. Brian F., what's going on? Member for 15 months. Always a good time at SKL. Have a great weekend at night, family. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate all your support. Absolutely. Metal Monday. There you go. It's on my KC live stream card. Need that box check for Black Hell Bingo. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Right on. I'm still missing shower. I'm still missing on the toilet. Did you get that one, Zach? Did you get on the toilet? Or is, it, is that on your card at all? So I'm still missing that one. I'm still missing in the shower and on the toilet. So th those are the ones I'm missing. But, oh, and looky, looky here. Looky what we're going to do. Yes. I looped it in with him running into the back. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Do you own any red knives? Oh, one or two. <laughs> one or two. There's one. Uh, there's one. I don't really own this one, though. It's just in for review. It'll probably get given away. Um, this one, I have it. It'll probably get given away. But yes, I have more than one red knife. Absolutely 100%. Couple. Couple. But yes. We have the new Scarlet Finch pen. And Jim, it still blows my mind. Still blowing my mind all week long that a Cardinal is a member of the Finch family. Just got to throw that out there. I, I was completely unaware. Tommy boy, what's going on? Good to see you. Member of the brigade. Yeah, still. Still blows me away. But yes, go check out PNW Fun Stuff. I know you guys probably just saw... Uh, was it Pickle Stevie and Banana Maddie? <laughs> those, those, oh, God. Those were funny. Those were funny. But all right. We're doing a giveaway, guys. We're going to wrap it up for tonight. But first, let me show you what you're playing for. Of course, you are playing for the Giganto Swag Bag. You will get all the big red EDC swag, including the new 37 stickers for sure. You will get all the Zach stuff, including the much sought out hashtag DSKFS patch. Plus, you got plenty in between. You got stuff like Glow Rhino, Thrifty Kniffy, RJ's Knives, Knife Fast, SMKW. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Father EDC, BE EDC, uh, more Glow Rhino, lots and lots and lots of stickers in there. This one will be US. Addresses only for sure. And then we have our, we got a patch bag. Uh, yeah, mostly patches. Of course, you will get the Saturday Knife Live. Just got another shipment of these in. So you will get the Saturday Knife Live Ranger Eye. You will get some Glow Rhino zipper pulls. There's actually three of them, but I could only pick two of them up at a time, apparently. So there are three of them. You will get a Blade Ops Ranger Eye. You will get, oh, you will get the DSKFS patch. 100%. <coughs> you will get one. And I believe, truly, this is the last one I have this time. I found one last time. But I truly believe this is the last one I have. So this one, this one's special, guys. Can I sell them? Oh, uh, I, I want to give them away. That's what I want to do. So we'll see. We'll see. And then you've got a Glow Rhino. Glow Rhino patch as well. Shoot me an email, Bushcraft. Shoot me an email. BigRedEDC at gmail.com. We'll talk. What else? Do we oh, speaking of PNW. Speaking of... Oh, yeah. There we go. We have a PNW Fun Stuff pan of that red cedar. Look at the grain on that one. Look at the split. Love it. Very, very cool. 
I'm developing a raffle habit and <laughs> chasing one patch. <laughs> oh, your, your ranger eyes are very popular. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So, yes, very cool. Awesome, awesome. That is cedar, by the way. That is cedar. Um, this video just came out earlier this week, but this is the EDC 35 from Nightcore. Just had a review on this one. If you guys haven't seen that, it was out earlier this week. But EDC 35 from Nightcore, it's a decent size flashlight, a little bit bigger than I like to carry. And you've got the tail switch for actuating. It also comes with that lanyard and clip. And then it comes with this. I didn't turn that on, did I? It's not that easy to turn on. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Be Shady. And it comes in this nylon pouch. And then I just have the charging cable uh, banded to it because, well, they gave it to me and it didn't have a box in it. So, so there you go. That will, that will be in there. And tonight's going to be a two knife giveaway, guys, because I've got a lot of knives to give away. And... I don't know. I might start giving two of them away at SKL. I might be doing multiple giveaways on SKL. Splitting slices. There's Byron. Member for 12 months. Can't stay. Hi to all. Good luck. Thank you very much, Byron. And by the way, there is a splitting slices sticker in your swag bag tonight. 100%. But this is the Pena designed RCK9 from Iconic. So it is G10, D2, dual thumb stud. I like this one a lot. Or Chavez. I said Pena, didn't I? Chavez. My dad. My bad. Chavez design, not Pena. To me, they're, they're really similar. Chavez and Pena. Yes, Chavez. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the, for the correction. I said Pena. I meant Chavez. Ramon Chavez. I actually got to meet Ramon at SHOT Show while looking at this knife. So that was kind of cool. But it is. It's a nice looking knife. It's got, it feels really good in hand. Nice blade. So that is one of them. All right, Kyle. I'm getting there, man. I'm trying to do the giveaway so nobody falls asleep. I'm trying to get it done. I promise, but I got to show you what you're playing for. Uh, we'll save the other one. We'll save the other one. I'll show you the other one afterwards. All right, that'll be a surprise. That'll be a surprise knife. So, all right, let's get another range here. Let's see here. Let's do, let's do this to this. And we'll do this all right all right we have a range we have a number there are your rules one guess one guess only close without going over ties go to a second round guess one account only u.s addresses for shipping only and my screen and my moderator's screens are final good luck everyone once we see the start on the screen there it is 400 to 600 400 to 600 that is your range good luck to you all thank you once again everyone for being here tonight thank you for all the donated memberships thank you guys for all the super chats i greatly greatly appreciate it oh you guys are awesome you guys are awesome for staying up late on a saturday night i know it's probably you know what is it close to what 2 30 2 30 in the morning on the east coast Really, really appreciate you all being here and hanging out and just having a good time. Very, very cool. Very cool. To Brian Kerr, excellent. I love how you guys, I love how you guys guess for other people. So very nice. The hashtag at DSKFS is strong with this group right there. 
Hashtag DSKFS. Very strong. Oh, whew. So what do you guys got on tap for tomorrow? It's probably going to be a crappy day again here today. It was supposed to be cloudy and cool again. No snow, at least, I hope. Golly, I hope no snow. But probably be a probably be a hangout day. Of course, we'll be on Zach's live stream tomorrow. Probably a couple others for sure here and there. So sleeping in. There you go. That sounds like a plan, Rusty. That sounds like a plan. Working eight to five. Oh, tomorrow is your Monday, Neil. Right on. Red DSKFS patch? Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Rob. You wouldn't. You probably won't see one from me. I don't know. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> that's that's Zach's thing. That's that. That's Zach's thing. So maybe snow snow removal. Oh. I know he is, but, you know, I, I don't like treading on other people's things. I don't like doing that. Um, all righty. Maybe 10 seconds, Zach, and we will get, we will get, a, find us a winner. Yes. Edgy says 552. 552 for Edgy American. Oh, I was, I was falling asleep earlier. I kind of got a little catnap in, 5, 10 minute. <laughs> All right, there is the stop signs, 513, guys, closest without going over 513. There's a 507 for Davo, 509 for Mr. Fluffy, 509 for Twang Thang. Closest without 509 for CK. Oh, my goodness. Man. Oh, King Snake Jake says 513 for Josh Branson. Oh, King Snake Jake. Dolan out some DSKFS. Oh, there's some closer ones. 511, 512. I've got one 513 so far. King Snake Jake. Oh, David Helka. David Helka with 513. All right. So we got to start writing. So we have David Helka. And we have King Snake Jake for Josh Branson. So we have a round two. At this moment, we have a round two. Yep. David Helka and King Snake. So, yep, you guys got it. We gotta bust out the, we gotta bust out the knife fight sticker. That's right. You guys are on top of it. We have a tie. That means we bust out the knife fight sticker. The winner of said knife site knife fight. Did I even say that right? Knife fight. Yeah, we'll get this one. So this will go in the package as well. So, uh, King Snake, are you guessing or is Josh guessing for round two? Let me know who's going to make the guess, and I will come up with a range. Whichever he wants. He says let King Snake. So, all right, King Snake. Uh, I guess you'll be guessing for Josh again, and David will be guessing for himself. You got the first one? Do you, were you the first one that got it, Rory? Awesome. So, all right. I have a range, and I have a number. Round two. Uh, rules change in round two just a little bit. Whoever's closest. Doesn't matter over. Doesn't matter under. King Snake and David Helka. So your range is 60 to 80, 60 to 80. King Snake, David Helka, good luck to you both. I'll be accepting the winnings, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> 60 to 80, David and King Snake. David says 72. 
What does King Snake say? King Snake says 66. It's closest. <clears throat> David Helka with the 72. The number was 71. So congratulations, David. Let me see something real quick, David. I'm going to see something real quick. I am going to pull this up. And I am going to see. Because I'm... I'm pretty. Do I have your hat? Well, maybe I don't. Yep, there it is. I have your address, David. Your address is in Pirate Ship. So um, go ahead and email me, my friend, just as a reminder. You don't have to send me your address or anything because I have it, unless it's changed recently. If it's changed recently, go ahead and shoot it. And I tell you what. King Snake, email me. Josh Branson, email me. I got something for the both of you as well. So, David Helka, King Snake for doing the DSKFS, and Josh Branson, since you were the recipient of said DSKFS, I want all three of you to email me. Okay? All three of you email me. I got something. To, I'll, I'll get a little something out to all three of you. Well, obviously, David won the package, so he's going to get that. But yes, everybody email me. All the new members. All the all oh, right on Lemmy. Um, all of the new members email me as well. BigRedEDC at gmail.com. There it is. Zach has put it up there for you. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Greatly, greatly appreciate every... Oh, the, the other knife. God, the other knife. I forgot. Sorry. Over the other knife. The other knife. Sorry. 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 The other knife. Yep, the second knife. Forgot. Forgot. Here it is. Thank you so much, El Cap. There you go, guys. It is the Ocaso. That is the other knife. And it's a dropper as well. Watch out. Yeah, very pokey pokey. Very pokey pokey. That was the second knife. So, David, this one will be in there as well. Sorry. <laughs> forgot about it <laughs> but there you go that will be the other one but yes all three of you email me thank you so much give a hand to your master moderator zach stuff working hard for you guys show him some love thank you thank you have you done a video on that knife this one yes yes i do have a video on this one uh this one what's the number on it because, oh, God, the name is escaping me. Solstice. Solstice. Ah, couldn't think of it right off the top of my hand. Yes, I do have. I do have a video on the solstice. So, hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much, Zach, and all my other moderators for all your help working behind the scenes. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Have a great week, and I will see you back here next week for another Saturday Knife Live. Good night, guys. <laughs>